Beloved magazine professor Bill Glavin passed away last spring after a battle with lung cancer. Last night, friends and colleagues paid tribute. Citrus TV's Jess Cunnington was there. It was a night of storytelling, laughter, and tears in Newhouse 3 for the tribute to Professor Bill Glavin, who died last May. Last night, friends, colleagues, and students all tried to capture the essence of Professor Glavin the best way they knew how. Bob and Carla Lloyd said it all. What I did not know is that he was a carrier of a disease. That disease was the love of writing, and this was proved especially by former students. Sarah Raynon said Glavin edited students' papers with green pen instead of red because he was not telling you where to stop, but where to go. After they graduated, some students didn't think they would keep in touch with professors as much as they did with Glavin, but along with the phone calls, he stayed in touch in a different way. When you, when you leave Bill, when you, when you leave his classes, he became the, the, the voice in the back of your head, the little like, good writer on your shoulder. Although Glavin was known for his harsh but effective editing on his students' papers, he could give you a critique uh, that would be funny and he could rip this thing to shreds, but you knew that there was, you know, if you needed help, he was there for you and that he was, you know, offering it with love. Allison Kenyon said if it wasn't for Glavin, she would not only be an unbearable writer, but she wouldn't have learned some important lessons. And that sort of winnowing down to what's essential and important is not only important in writing, but it's important in your life and all the decisions that you make. And so, you know, it's hard for me to imagine not having received that sort of gift and those messages. It's clear that Professor Bill Glavin was a constant in Newhouse, just as he was outside of the classroom in everyone's lives. From Newhouse 3, I'm Jessica Cunnington, Citrus TV News.